borderland to help ease the strain hospitals are seeing. ABC 7 Shelby Montgomery spoke to a local ICU nurse about the hospital, what the hospital is are dealing with, and she's live with an interview you'll see only on ABC 7. Shelby. Eric, the ICU nurse I spoke with says her ICU is at capacity. She also says the hospital is rearranging things to accommodate new patients. We're not releasing her name or the hospital she works with. We saw a dramatic increase. Last Friday, we actually ended up admitting five new ICU COVID patients. This El Paso nurse says the ICU at her hospital is at capacity. Our 12 patients last night, I think we had four on bypass and the rest were intubated. She says recently 12 nurses quit and the hospital canceled the contracts for all their travel nurses. To make up for that loss, she says remaining nurses were assigned three COVID ICU patients to one nurse, an increase, and the hospital offered bonuses for nurses to come in on days they weren't scheduled to work. A lot of us are working four or five days to try and I guess minimize some of the stress. You can notice that the burnout is is real. We're, we're all starting to feel a little bit more every day. In order to alleviate that stress, Governor Greg Abbott announced the state was sending additional resources to area hospitals. A spokesperson for the Texas Department of Health Services says some nurses have already arrived and will start working Wednesday. He also says a total of 250 contracted medical personnel will be sent to El Paso. Each hospital has confirmed they will be receiving some of those resources, which will be divided according to each hospital needs. Hospitals have all provided information about their needs and so we will evaluate those um, compared to the skill set of the staff that arrive so that we're able to assist all of the facilities as best we can with the staff that we've been provided. As far as resources, University Medical Center says they are receiving four respiratory therapists and 20 nurses. The other hospitals didn't specify what resources they would be getting. I also reached out to each nurse about their ICU, each, excuse me, each hospital about their ICU capacity as well as their nurse to patient ratio. Following that nurse's interview, the Providence hospitals did get back to me with a statement that said they are monitoring the situation closely and quote, as we prepare to expand hospital capacity, capacity. Staffing continues to be a challenge and we are working as expeditiously to fill the necessary positions and quote. Las Palmas del Sol says they quote currently have the ER and ICU capacity to meet the needs of our patients and we also have the ability to add capacity and quote. UMC has yet to get back to me. Live in downtown El Paso, Shelby Montgomery, ABC 7.